how to add a subdomain in GoDaddy. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be telling you how you can add a subdomain into your GoDaddy domains. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. There are a couple of things that you have to do, but uh, generally speaking, all you gotta do is come over here onto your GoDaddy account, select the domain that you want, or scroll down and click on manage your domain. Mine is expiring soon, but that's fine. The method is still going to work. I'm going to click on the domain that I have available over here and then click on domain over here on the left hand side. Then click on manage DNS settings or manage DNS or click on domain settings. It's the same thing, but click on manage DNS uh, here down below. This is going to be your DNS records, right? All of them are available over here and these are all different IP addresses, but that's fine. You can't edit or delete them. Some you can, but that's fine. Let me just go ahead and delete some of them. Uh, I don't want them. These are all subdomains or DNS records. So yeah, but yeah, I'll do this later. So let me just show you how you can add a new domain or a subdomain. So click on add new record, select the option, right? Click on a, and then over here, this is going to be the name here. You can add whatever prefix of your domain is or subdomain is. So for example, if I wanted to add pages to my subdomain, I can add pages. If I wanted contact, I can add contact, whatever I want, I can type in over here, right? So I'm going to type in pages and then the value with value, you can add whatever IP address that you have over here. Um, you can see right now this is mine so i'll just copy and paste it over here there you go and then this is uh ttl you can leave it for an hour this will check every other hour for any changes you can go with a week or custom option but generally speaking the half an hour is the only marker you would actually need and then you click on save and now this record is ready to be used your dns records are done and that's how you can add a dns and that's how you can add a subdomain and now the subdomain is ready for you to use so there you go thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye